Hey guys, Joe here, and today let's look at the Go Buy Loon strategy at Town Hall 9. Uh, this is an army composition sample and can be adjusted per your specific needs. Uh, two golems minimum with uh, wall breakers and wizards to create a wide funnel for the Valkyries and heroes. Uh, Valkyries level 4 recommended and the heroes levels around eh, about 15 since they're not really the focal point troop for the success of the attack. Uh, balloons for the back end and then a jump spell to assist the kill squad to the core and heal spells and a raise spell for the Valkyries once they're into the core. Uh, defensively, we're looking for these bases with the air defenses are all in the core to pose an anti-air layout and the enemy archer queen is easily reachable by the kill squad itself. The point defenses such as archer towers and cannons are around the outer perimeter of the base and the wizard towers are deep within the base design. Symmetrical base design is ideal for the success of the attack. Um, as you see here, the phase one starts by coming up into the closest to the enemy archer queen with uh, two golems spread out, followed by a wide spread of wizards to create a funnel. Uh, dropping the wall breakers to open that first section of wall and once the outer deterrents are cleared by the wizards, heroes are dropped and once they go into the base, the mass bulk of the Valkyries are dropped in. A uh, jump spell is used to assist the kill squad into the center of the base, while a rage spell is dropped to speed up the Valkyries to destroy the core itself, including all the air defenses. This portion takes about a minute out of the raid, and once all the air defenses are down, you can start the second phase of the attack by trickling in about two to three balloons per point defense on the outer perimeter of the base. Uh, once the final defenses fall on the outer perimeter, the cleanup portion begins. So as you see here, there are a uh, cannon and an archer tower left over for those last couple of balloons up top and you still have m plenty of uh, balloons going around the base itself and uh, you got a couple of air bombs within the base but they're kind of spread out so there's not really much of a uh, hindrance there for the balloons themselves uh, with this strategy you can eliminate the worry of spring traps which would pose more of a threat towards your hogs and uh, they're normally spread out on the outer perimeter in between the point defenses themselves. Um, not really seeing too many spring traps in the center of the base on these types of layouts. And um, with this strategy here, it kind of takes away the double giant bomb threat. Uh, they don't really pose much of a threat since you have all the heal spells to recover the Valkyries once they're in the core itself. Uh, normally the air bombs are placed uh, around air defenses on most layouts. Uh, and on that last replay they were kind of spread out so they didn't really pose much of a threat to the balloons that stayed on the outer perimeter of the base. So uh, this strategy is an alternate approach if you have uh, lower level hogs or you do not feel confident with your uh, surgical hog, hog deployments. So on this last replay here, uh, same, same effect, uh, dropping in your golems and wizards for uh, funneling purposes and then using the jump spell to uh, get those Valkyries into the core of the base and as you see here they kind of run into a Tesla farm but they take that out fairly quick with the rage spell remember that rage spell jump uh, a max rage itself is 170 uh, percent damage uh, increase so as you see here the Valkyries move through this core fairly quick and there's still a couple of, um, of uh, wizard towers still up but he has enough balloons to about two to three per point defense and they move right in while the king's in there with a couple more Valkyries taking out the last couple wizard towers themselves. So at this point, you know, the last couple remaining defenses are going down. Um, you have that lone uh, balloon down at the bottom that takes out that archer tower with its splash damage once it's destroyed. And you have that last cannon down there in the bottom wall because the queen is on the outer perimeter. Uh, doing cleanup mode as it is. The, as you see here, the hound that was in the clan castle didn't really pose much of a threat to the troops as uh, because the Valkyries do move so fast when enraged. So, uh, very good strategy to try out on these um, bases where the air defense is more centralized in the core of the base, uh, mainly for anti-air attacks. Just bringing you more ideas. Uh, these are a couple more videos to check out from my channel. And uh, please like, add some comments below, and as always, you take care.